if you are a marketing agency and you get 12 new clients today, how much time will it take you to launch all of them? Well, considering industry standards, you might be guessing one or two weeks. What if I tell you you can launch all of them in one day without needing a huge team? Well, you're going to love this one. If you're already using Go High Level and you've put in so much time and effort creating a perfect sub account with funnels, custom values, automations, all of that, you can save that in a snapshot and replicate it to all 12 new accounts that you got. That way you can launch your new clients at lightning fast speeds and get ahead of your competitors. So let's dive into Go High Level and see the power of a snapshot. All right, so I'm in my sub account and as you can see, we have account snapshots right here. Now there are a few changes that Go High Level has done in terms of user interface. If you do not see it this way, please go to settings and then head over to labs scroll all the way down and make sure that you have enabled snapshots v2 all right so back under account snapshots now here you can see a few options let me explain them briefly what they mean so my snapshot is of course the snapshots that you have created then we also have imported snapshots these are snapshots that you've imported externally then we have shared snapshots as well so if somebody has shared snapshots with you you can find them here and then under snapshot templates we have quite a few snapshots that are done by go high level for you so feel free to use them and install and get started. All right, let's go back to my snapshots and then we'll click on this blue button right here to create a new snapshot. Now, once you do that, it will ask you to name the snapshot, of course, but then it will also ask you for a host account because it needs a sub account to make copy of all those things like funnels, workflows, so it can save that in the snapshot and then you can use them to replicate to other accounts. All right, so I'm gonna select this snapshot right here and I'm gonna name it test snapshot for now and then hit save. As soon as you do that, it will take a few seconds and create your snapshot. So what we'll do is we'll just hit a quick refresh here and then we should see our snapshots under my snapshots. Now, if you see to your right, you will see this plus icon here. So it says create new account. Now, when you select this option, it will ask you for your client's address. You can add it manually or you can search them up on Google Maps if they're listed. Or now I'm gonna search for one of my friend's accounts and then I'm gonna click here where it says results. If you're not able to find them here, you can click on add account manually and it will take you to the same interface. Now you basically have to fill in all this information. Some of this will be automatically populated by Go High Level. And once you're done, click on save. Now what will happen in the background is it will create the new account, but will also load the snapshot into it. So all the funnels, automations and workflows will be copied over and then you can launch your client fast. Now if we go to switch to sub account, you will see the new sub account and I'm going to show you that it will already have copied over everything. So if I go to sites right here, you can see that it has already got the funnels here. And if I head over to automations, it will already have the automations that I had created. So you can see that it is all here. A golden tip for you is that if you create custom values and use them in your funnels and have that copied over in the snapshot, just like booking link, offer price, practice phone, you will accelerate this process even more because all you'll have to do when onboarding a client is head over to custom values, fill out this information and your funnels and websites will be ready. Now I'm back into agency settings and account snapshots and I'm going to talk about the refresh snapshot option. So if you remember, we created this test snapshot and we hosted it on this account, right? Now let's say you come up with a really cool update, maybe down the road and you want to roll out a new funnel, maybe an offer or an automation to all the accounts, right? What you will do is you will go to this sub account and create that new funnel or the offer in this account and then come back to agency settings right here and then click on refresh snapshot. So once you confirm this, what it will do is it will update your snapshot so that it has the latest funnels or the offers or the optimizations you made recently. Now, once that is done, if you create or launch a new client from today onwards, it will have the latest updates. But what about if you have to roll that out to all the previous accounts or clients that you have? Well, there's an option for that as well. So if you see to your right again, you see this arrow pointing upwards, which says push update to linked accounts. So once you click on that, it will show you all the accounts that this snapshot is linked to. And then you can either select one of them or maybe all of them. Now, once you do that, it will show you options like calendars, custom fields, all of that. So you can select a particular one and only push that update because you don't want to push all the updates because it will override that. So let's say you skip all of these for now and then you basically go to, let's say, email builder template. So you click on this plus drop down here and then let's say you created this new email marketing template that you want to roll out to all the accounts. So you will only select this one 
And then maybe you did another funnel, which you want to roll that out, right? So what I'll do is select that funnel only so it does not override the existing stuff, but only pushes the new stuff. So let's say we only go and roll these couple of things out and I will select those and then hit proceed. Now go out of this smart, so it will actually check for conflicts if anything like that already exists in case you missed it. So if there are any conflicts, it will show you those conflicts right here and you will have an option either to override them or skip them. So once done, you can click on proceed and it will push the update to all the linked accounts and this will save you hours of time, if not minutes. So this feature will really benefit you if you're a SaaS company or even a marketing agency and if you're trying to push updates, this will really come in handy. So now we're gonna talk about the last feature for the snapshots. So let's say you wanna share a snapshot with a client or a friend or maybe you wanna sell a snapshot. What you can do is you can click on these three dots right here and then click on share snapshot. So under share type, there are a few options here. So we have a get one time share link. If you only wanted to share it only one time so that nobody else uses it, you can select this option and it will give you that link. Then you can also email the share link to a client or if you're selling it out to somebody. And then you can also get a permanent link because that link will be used permanently and it can be used over and over. So now we do have a couple of more options, which is agency restricted link. If you only want it to be shared with one specific agency, really helpful for SaaS agencies and people who want to sell snapshots. So if you type in the relationship number, you can easily share that with only one agency. And similarly, we have restricted sub account access. So if you want it to be shared with only one sub account, you can type that here and it will only share that snapshot with one single sub account or multiple ones if you chose that. All right, so that was all about snapshots. I hope you really liked this video. If you have any questions about snapshots, feel free to put them down in the comments below and we will get back to you.